We are recording this uh, just shortly after the mass shooting in El Paso, which was apparently driven by, uh, perpetrated by someone who had white supremacist views. Should we consider white supremacist groups terrorist organizations? I think we should. Um, and, uh, you know, one of the gaps in the federal law, <coughs> the federal criminal law, is that there's no specific criminal violation for domestic terrorism. So prosecutors have to characterize it as a hate crime hmm. or uh, if there was somebody in law enforcement who was injured or killed, they can uh, charge it that way. Um, uh, but uh, when, for example, the U.S. attorney announces they're going to address this as a domestic terrorism case, mm -hmm. they can from an investigative perspective, but not from an actual charging decision perspective. So we need to change the law to address that? I think so. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I also think we need to recognize uh, that um, in terms of terrorist incidents that have caused loss of life, leaving aside the, the terrible loss of life on 9-11, but, but since then, there's been more actual loss of life attributable to domestic terrorists than those influenced by um, foreign Islamist organizations.